It certainly is. I mean, many people we've spoken to said, given the, the publicity, given the way the diplomacy has been working out, something has to give. There has to be some sort of answer to the conundrum of what happened on that day. But just to uh, re-emphasize what you've been saying, Saudi Arabia apparently preparing a report to say that the journalist Jamal Khashoggi was killed in the consulate behind me uh, as, as a result of an interrogation that went wrong. This according to CNN, who are citing two unnamed sources. One saying a report is still being prepared. Now, that could change. But also another source has told them that, that, uh, that there's a report saying that it's uh, as a result of of um, an operation that was carried out without due clearance and that those involved are going to be punished. So there is some sort of denouement, it seems, with regards to this macabre case. Uh, there has been talk uh, over the last few days of, of what indeed could have happened. Was it a rendition that went wrong or was it entirely a premeditated killing of the journalist? The indications are from these reports on CNN that the Saudi line has now changed radically. They've been saying that these allegations for two weeks have been utterly baseless and that they may be indicating that, yes, he was killed, but it was something that went horribly wrong in that Saudi consulate. It's interesting, in the last two weeks, next to nothing has happened, but in the last 24 hours, things seem to have moved very fast. Uh, we've also had a team of Turkish investigators inside the Saudi consulate. As far as we know, they are still in there, aren't they? Uh, what exactly are they up to? Well, as you say, things have been moving swiftly in the last few hours. We had, uh, a few days ago, um, reports of an agreement of a joint uh, collaborative operation to look inside the, the consulate. Then this went away. There were apparently objections from the Saudi side regarding the, the nature of that investigation. It was back on the agenda today and was confirmed. Uh, two different teams came along at different times. Um, in fact, there were two separate Turkish teams that came along because the second one was obviously a crime scene investigation unit, men in white uniforms going in to try and ascertain exactly what happened and where. And as people have been telling us, pathologists that we've had on air, people have, that we've spoken to, it's very, very hard to cover up something, if, even if you really, really want to. You either do it in a very professional way and no one finds out, but if it's an accident, as they say it may well be, it's very hard to hide the evidence, even two weeks later.